Today we will speak about some basic of Swift language. Let's start by variables. Variables can be defined as follows. Um, variable name type also, late name type also, the other shape as shown in the picture, in the video, sorry. So let's start, we'll start by making, going to Xcode using playground uh, form. So we'll learn some basic about Swift so we can later work on making some application on iOS. We start by making new playground and showing how to make variables. We'll have these choices. Uh, iOS or Mac operating system, we will work for, we are making mobile applications, so we choose iOS. We have four choices, blank, game, map, and single view. We'll choose blank. For now, later, we can work on single view. We will choose blank and we will go farther. We choose the name and save somewhere in our computer, Mac or Windows. We save it. We wait until Playground come up. When it's become ready, when it's come up, we have two lines. One of the online is importing UI kit. What's meaning UI kit is meaning user interface tools that will be used uh, according to needs so this is user interface as we mentioned before user interface tools i'm just writing this to show you what's meaning that you like it you can look up for it for further information the other line is variable Name it greeting equal to this string hello playground. As shown, we can define variable by making word var, keyword var, then after that the name of that variable, then the assigning assign uh, symbol, then after that the string. If we play it, it's meaning like running it on the left of lines there is lines and there is play there if we show our preview here we will see that the greeting will contain hello world it's still running into upstairs if you see on up they are writing they are running the application we write greetings we can change this variable by giving another value for example we can say welcome to iOS applications as we written now, if we run it, the value will change from Hello Playground to Welcome to iOS application. And not showing in preview, it's still running upstairs. If you see, it's running into, and there is a cir uh, circle, it's, it's going on. Now it's ready to continue. Now show, look here. At first one, we have Playground, a second one, Welcome to iOS applications. If we click there, it will show the results for each variable uh, below it as it's showing now we see that we can change the variable value uh, and dependence on us what to choose or what to insert it. variable can be defined in different ways also not only this way we can put like before uh, the assigning symbol we can put like column then after that string we show that this variable specifically will take string values so if you give another value for it it will not accept it for example we say this is a string so when we change it we should give a string to it as well as we run it nothing changed same same result will come up just only we specify the value that this is string and should take string on inside it as a showing we can change this one according to what we need and according what variable we will use we come up to the second things which is late if we say late this greeting will be playground when we try to change the value it cannot be changed here we got error if we see that error cannot assign to value for it because let cannot be changed it will take one time it's, 
is not mutable. Sh uh, sh so what we need, we need to make it mutable. How to make it mutable? We should change it again to variable. This is the solution that Xcode gives us when we try to make different using different volume. So if we check our lecture, we have we say we say that let Q was significant constant. If we need constant volume, we'll use let. We have different volume also: integer, string, boolean, float, character, double. It depends on what we use for it. It depends on what we are using or what trying to make applications. We will use that one. So let's try something else. Let's try make this one like um, let's say yeah, no. Uh, let's delete this one. Delete hello playground and give a value directly to it. We give it nine, which means. The variable will understand, the application will understand this value will take integer value because it defines the variable depending on the value of it. So 9 is integer, so the everything's become integer. So we, we get back the previous value, we go to another variable, we try to make variable none and give some value for it like 9. We come to change num to make it 10, and if we run it, we will see that num at first one it will take uh, 9, then after that it will take 10 also. We can define this in different way also, as we previously mentioned to this string. We can put after num column, after that integer to specify that value, it's integer exactly. So if we put column and integer, uh, sorry, integer, it's meaning that we specify the value for it. It's meaning that num is 9. It's meaning it's integer, as we defined it be, uh, before assign a symbol. So uh, if we specify it, we should give the right value for it. If we give integer, if we give double value for it, oh sorry, if we remove the integer and give double value for it, it will take that value. It will define the variable the, according to that value, which means it will be float or, or double. We can specify it more by making it like double, writing double after column, or we can define it as a float after column so that's we define it we specify the type of the variable so the program now what we need or what we will use for it if we specify it as a float so the application no this is a float exactly this is like other applications also sorry as other languages also language programming they we can specify the variable for it, but here is a little different. Look, if we make it integer and give and give it double value, it will not accept it because we say you should specify it as a double, so it needs to be converted. How to convert it? You put integer around that value and make it between brackets so that you know we are using integer. As shown, as we mentioned, we make variable like string and number. This one will make it like boolean. We give true or false value, then the system will know this is boolean without specifying that this is boolean type by true or false. But there is a problem in this uh, because I think there is a crash in the application as shown there, yellow sign there over there downstairs of the below the intro showing that there is a, a tension like sign something like that showing that it's crash so but still the application show that this line is uh, of code is true there is no problem about it but uh, 
and there was a problem to show that this is not acceptable we can make it true or false we can specify that this is boolean and also we can try again run it look the run, running cycle is uh, running over and over and is not stopping to show the result so still the code is okay we can also define character by making variable for example g and give one character for it so it's like h or something whatever you want and if we try to run it and specify also the character for it as in system this is how we define our variables in different ways so and different types so here is it as in other systems they define the variables with the their type this is how we define in the swift sometimes if we get crash you can solve it uh, easily by turning off the application and I'll turn it again or check the error what is the exact error if it's very complicated or something it will take you time to try to turn off and on as we see we, we can define variables in different way like variable name of it type then after that is assign to equal to value you have optionals also can be used with the variables by putting a question mark at the end of it which which you can use it with the variable and constants also uh, we still have problem about programs so we come to the end of it this is uh, how we make variables in, 